Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and today I am again playing with my recycle milk bottles. So I promised in the previous video that I would tell you more about what I did with the rest of the video with the rest of the milk bottles. And these are some creations that I have created using chopped up bits of milk bottle so the previous one was um you know cutting big strips out of from around the bottle this is then taking what's left and chopping it up into lots of little pieces and as you can see this one was my first one and the pieces were slightly bigger uh they weren't evenly spread across the the pan that i they melted them in um <laughs> I love that they've still got their best before dates on them. <laughs> My girlfriend says, Oh what a shame you've still this it I'm like, no, that's part of it. That's like shows that it's recycled. Um and you can see there's big lumps that were piled on top of each other. Um and it's got lots of see through y holy bits and I really like that. It's cool. Um it's kind of a lace. This one, on the other hand, had a lot more bits in it. And as you can see, if you compare them, they were a lot smaller. I got more into chopping them up that time by then. <laughs> um, so this one is... This one's two whole milk bottles. I hadn't decided to start chopping the other bits out yet. So that's two whole milk bottles. This one is about six tops and bottoms, maybe more. Um, and that has cooked probably a bit longer as well, and they've really, really shrunk. They're very cool. I very much like them, and um, the texture, I just... You just want to keep touching them. They're, they're so cool. I think it's a piece of art in itself. But anyway, we're not into straight plastic as our art on this channel. We're a acrylic boring channel. So what could we do with these, guys? What, what magic could be created with these? So what I'm aware of with these... There's some, there's all sorts of things. Ooh. Does, does your creative juices just go, oh, I could do, and I could do, and I could do, and oh, ooh, what about? I, and if it doesn't, and you'd like it to, ask what would it take for my creative juices to start doing things like that and coming up with ideas with that much ease. But don't do that. That could, uh, you know, <laughs> create more fun. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to um, what I would like to do here is balance this on top of something and pour through it, pour over it, pour around it and then dry that as a piece because I've got lots of holes to pour through actually now wondering whether that one would do it better for that yes okay no we're gonna do that with this this one on the other hand I may just leave completely like plastic and mount it over another piece now not necessarily this piece but check this out. How funky does that look? It's kind of like, ooh, what's behind the mask? <laughs> and then people could like go, oh, this is this is symbolic of all the the plastic in the world covering the beauty that is possible, killing the beauty. No, it just looks cool. Feels funky. Why not? <laughs> I have no point of view about significance and meaning, guys. And if that 
it's a problem for you find another channel um i i'm a bit irreverent about how other people think and i one of the things that kept me from art for many 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 years was the awareness of the crap that poured out of people's mouths just so that they could have a meaning to their painting now really do you have to have a meaning for your painting i don't think so it can just look pretty and that to me is just being pretty or making people think or having people go oh i can see ya that's cool so so what i've done my setup here this is a sheet of canvas you buy them in pads um this one is phoenix artistic canvas um 16 by 20 inch canvas you can also buy them in like a4 pads and stuff like that but you know and then i've just covered a piece of my husband's boxing um which is covered in concrete with plastic and then taped the stuff canvas down and that's as normal sitting on my tins so we've got a way to pick it up if the paint's all over the place now the next question is how are we going to sit this little bubba up high i've got a couple of points that don't actually have holes necessarily so what i might do um, i'm gonna create a negative space pour underneath so I'm going to put white down first before I position hmm oh questions questions possibilities awareness all going throughout my brain what I've just become aware of is if I put these down and then put the white paint around it and then pour over top of that what will then be created is a hole which when I go like that it'll get sucked into how do I do it that way around where's the holes An artist thought process. Don't ever try and understand it and don't ever tell them they're wrong. Because art is very personal. It's really interesting. I find it fascinating what you guys think is appropriate to write as comments. I love your comments, most of you. Some of you, you just don't stop and engage thought process prior to. Prior to typing, please engage brain. Um, okay, so I'm putting those down with the smallest ends. I'm gonna pour the paint first with, with those there. I'm gonna put the white paint on with those there. The reason for that is um, the reason for that is then when I take them off there's a void and hopefully there'll be paint run into those and fill those up and they'll become part of the the what's going call it so I have my I think I should probably put gloves on before I start doing this haha <laughs> there's my paint all mixed up and looking fabulous one two and we're gonna
pour because pouring is fun now you probably heard me shaking my paint quite dynamically this paint separates really quickly and um, so I shake it shake it to the left shake it to the right wasn't giving up without putting up a fight was it wiggly tooth song that they used to sing at kindy um, when somebody got a wiggly tooth to make it all good that they were losing their tooth I don't want too much paint on here. Um, ah, and I didn't want those to fall over either. Now, why don't I want too much paint on here? I don't want too much paint on here because I'm going to be pouring a heap of paint on anyway. Now because this isn't a stretched canvas, you're then going to start having interesting little bends and folds and things that get created. And I can see that this is actually going to be in a, in a frame in the end, so I'm not too worried about that because it can be kind of stretched-ish as it's being framed. Okay. So, what I need to be using for this, my awareness, is thicker paint so that it doesn't all fall through. Um, so, I'm going to use my homemade turquoise. Wow, that looks very blue in that light. Wow, interesting. Oh, it's getting closer. Maybe we'll have it up there. Okay, it's still even a bit greener than what's showing on the screen. That's made from Viridian Hue. Again, a lot greener than shows on screen. Cobalt Blue and White. Uh, so I'm going to have those two. Viridian Hue turquoise uh, where is it I'm going to use some of my crimson red and I'm going to use some silver and I'm going to Probably put in a bit of white as well, just because I can. Um. <laughs> Silver's a little... Should I put some bronze in as well? Yeah. Let's put some bronze in. Let's do that too. Where's the bronze? Cool. Plenty of bronze. Ooh, ooh, look at that. Yummy bronze. I like bronze. I like gold. I like bronze. I like shiny stuff. I do. I do like shiny stuff. And luckily, my husband likes that I like. <laughs> like it when I like things. It lets me buy them. Oh, that's really thick. 
bit too thick. I know I said I needed it thick, but that's a bit too thick, I think. Mixing metallic paints um, always freaks me out a little bit. Because look how, how much it's kind of separated. But you just keep stirring and the stirring. I'm, I'm stirring. I tilt it so you can see what I'm doing, but I don't want to be over my white paint. That's what's happening. See, look, I spilt spodge. If you keep stirring and keep stirring and keep stirring, it does eventually all mix in, and you get that nice smooth yumminess there we go all right now I actually want quite a bit of paint because I want a heap to stay on my plastic and I would like some to dribble through as well so who knows whether the dribble through whether it will be mounted on top or not. We'll see what happens. Um, while I think about it, I'm just going to get the bubbles out of my white paint because there's lots of them from shaking it so violently. And starting off with bubble free paint is always a good starting point in my point of view. All right. You can turn off now. Thank you. Right, so I'm going to use a cup because I need quite a bit of paint, as I said. Where's the cup? Cups! Where are you? This is not a sponsored video. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure I want white on the bottom, though. I just put some in just as a base so that the others can all fall out hopefully um, I'm gonna layer my colors a bit hopefully being such a deep cut cup it's um quite hard to layer them mm. oh, my silver is very thick so is my green by the looks of that What's right about that? I'm not getting some more white. Not a lot of white. I don't need a lot of white. I do need a lot of... Oh, you know what I'm starting to get the awareness of? This colour combination is a bit like... The, I'm sorry you can't really see this. This colour combination is a bit... There we go. How's that? Now you can see it. Um, it's a bit like the patina on metal. And... Um, hmm. I'm intrigued to see what this is going to turn out like. What do you guys reckon? Is it going to be a success, a failure? Is there such a thing as failure? You all keep telling me no such thing as failure. And I totally agree. How much fun can you have playing? A bit more white. I think that's going to be enough. So I'm going to move these well out of the way. All my pots of colour. You guys get to see the googly mess that gets created in the bottom of that pot. Look at that. 
and I think I might just clean my hands a little bit. Alright, let's bring you back over here while I think about it so that I want it lighter. Light. Thank you. And let's see if I can position that. I'm not sure how well this is going to hold up to being but we will see. So here's our cup. We've got some cool cells happening in there already. And So how long do we let it soak for? How long do we let it seep for? Then becomes the question. So we've got some really cool circle pores happening underneath this. Let me show you. Oops, if I can. Look at all the runoff. That's so cool. And what's on here looks cool too. Let me zoom you in. Weep. Ha! <laughs> no idea what that's going to dry that though. It's an experiment, guys. It's an experiment with recycled plastic and lots of paint. How's it getting any better than that? Okay, so what I'm going to do, I've got a record that I've used for other things sitting here. Uh, I am going to put a bit of tape across the centre of it, just looking at that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift this up and um, slide the record underneath and put it down onto these four tins um, and that way hopefully it will catch the drips so you ready it's coming up towards you <laughs> okay I'm gonna put that over there and just let that continue to drip while we admire the beauty that got created underneath <laughs> so this cup here obviously had a hole above it it's got paint in it And that one didn't. So that's cool. See, my idea worked. That one's filled itself in. That one's filling itself in. So we've got lots and lots of spiral pores. Let me show you these before we do anything else. How pretty are they? I mean, I could just leave it... Just go, all right, you look dry like that. And because they're on a loose canvas, I can just cut them out and do stuff with them. I really like this one. It's about to fall off the side. But that's cool. But no, as much as I can hear some of you saying, yes, leave it alone, leave it alone. I'm going to stretch it. 
Why? Because there's way too much paint in the middle. What's right about this I'm not getting. <laughs> okay, so the next question is, do I leave it like this or do I do something different? Leave it like this, do something different. Leave it like this, do something different. Leave it like this is actually lightest. I'm going to leave it as it is and let it do its thing. Um, oh, you know me too well. You know I'd be back. Ah, I can't leave it like this. As much as I like this patch over here, the rest of it is frustrating the heck out of me. I cannot leave it like this. What is required? I know, I know. It's just a piece of canvas sheet. I know. It's all just an excuse. What else? What does it desire to be? Hey, check out the bottom of the cup. That's cool. <laughs> what does it desire to be? That's interesting, actually. I just want to show you this. Because I've been blaming the house paint for this. And that is breaking up in the cup and there was no house paint in the cup it is not always the house paint's fault hmm interesting so uh oh I know what I could do. I know. I know what I could do. I know what I could do with you. There it is. I got kitchen towel. Kitchen towel swipe. So kitchen towel swipes, you always wet the kitchen towel. And then you open it back up again. Why do you do that? Because then it doesn't absorb all the paint instantly because it's already absorbed all the water. That's my guess anyway. It's just the way I saw it done the first time. It's been done by a number of artists. I don't know who came up with it first time. I know that you guys like it though. Last time I put Kitchen Towel Swipe, I got thousands of views. It was quite cool. Um, ah, it's all sticking together. Okay. So I kept the bit I liked. Did you notice that? And then I swiped. And it's worked really cool. Wow, and that's without torching it. Watch it go. This is not time lapsed, guys. This is as you see, with no heat. Holy Toledo. This is so cool. Look at all those cells. I'm so glad I did that. <laughs> uh, you could cover books with that. 
you could I had um a lady come through my gallery the other day and she'd done a course at the local um, art place where they'd learnt how to do this and um there's another artist in town that does acrylic pouring and um, her daughter does book binding and they were using the paintings to bind the books. Now I could totally see that patch there being a book cover. It's so pretty. I'm happy now. I can leave it. <laughs> They're interesting shaped cells though. I'm going to zoom you in and just show you the cells. Look at those. Huh. Pretty cool, eh? I like it. I'm glad I did that. Sometimes I mess with it too much and I get, get really upset with it. But I'm pleased I did that. Let's see how it dries. Bye. Alright, so here it is all finished. And oh my goodness, I love the way the paint just makes it look like it's a weave of a material or something like that it's just glorious look at this so we didn't get a lot of cells on this but i don't think cells would have been particularly um kept very well um there's our little holes that we go go right through <laughs> i like it i like it i really really like it I, I'm going to be saving my milk bottles. I really am. I, I'm going to try and get it to completely cover the bottom so we don't have the holes running through. Um, but yeah, I like this. I'm, 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 I'm enamored. Enamored. And uh, just the texture. It's like yummy. <laughs> it's so cool. And yep, there's another one of those best before signs. Haha. <laughs> Just to prove that it's milk bottles. So there you go. There's the, the main piece. Let me get the um the bit of canvas that I had underneath. Hold on. So here it is. All dried and taken off its big block of wood so we didn't crush the plant. The hebe. Um, yeah, I'm getting that this is going to turn into some sort of bag or book cover, as I said before, but it's dried beautifully, very similar to how I left you after I did my swipe. <laughs> uh, I like it, I like it it's cool it's um so these are the edges where it all ran down the sides and i didn't swipe and here's that bit that i really liked at the top so i like it it's funky and it's definitely going to end up as something and you'll probably see me doing a video of making something with this <laughs> what else is possible guys what magic can you make and what can you use it for? And how much fun can you have exploring other possibilities? How much fun can you choose in all areas of your life? If it's boring, if it's mundane, what would uh, what would if what if you were to ask, what can I be or do different that would add fun to this now and in the future? Oh, don't start asking questions. It might start creating your life as you desire it. Oopsie! <laughs> anyway, I adore you guys. Have an amazing time. Come join us on Acrylic Pouring for fun. 
if you are having fun with pouring desire to have fun with pouring and have a willingness to be kind to others have fun and what else is possible bye bye